welcome guys uh, this is the part 2 and uh, we will further discuss uh, about the drawings in detail in this part if you have missed the first part then you can always go to my first part and uh, enroll in this one uh, I have given the link in the description uh, but if you you can check the content of first part if you know the topics already so I welcome you in the second part so I'm starting the second part uh, by a topic how to read drawing using cross references so I have given a brief uh, uh, introduction in the first part about this point this is very important this part means it's just like that you are reading maps you, should, you if you can read the maps you can uh, read different streets uh, from one place to another place how you can go so this is uh, 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 is of that much important okay so let's start this topic uh, how to read drawing using cross references this point is extremely important if you understand this point you can go through complete drawing so the idea is uh, if you if you cannot understand the drawing in the start don't worry about it you just uh, try to go through it because uh, uh, your brain is uh, getting trained so even you are under, not un able to understand just read daily so after one or two weeks you will be start to pick up and then you can easily move to the second topic uh, second stage and you, you can start uh, understanding schemes uh, each loop is marked from where it is its source and where is its destination so the key idea is uh, uh, each and every loop in the drawing is showing the source from where it is started and where it is terminated or destination so uh, unless it is it is the last point or it is the first point so let's check the drawing further I have a make a screenshot for you so this is the page here you can see this L1 plus is the DC loop this we I have explained in my last uh, uh, lecture and this is a DC loop which is coming from 20.3 sheet number 20 column number 3 so you can go to the next sheet and then you can find that uh, this loop is uh, terminating to the current sheets so let's go ok now this is the sheet number 20 I have opened here sheet number 20 and here you can see Uh, there is a MCB and through this MCB uh, this is the terminal block X1021 and X102 this is the terminal block this is MCB F201 is MCB and 3 and 4 are the terminals of MCB you can see here this is the thumb rule in the drawing also that odd number is uh, is incoming where incoming power circuits uh, or cables are connected and even normally is used for outgoing or where the circuit is terminated so if you see here this one is just I will brief you and you can further understand yourself or just wait for my next part and I will keep on explaining these uh, functions also this is a change over scheme if one supply DC is fail automatically it is change over to the second supply so this is just introduction this is the auxiliary contact of this MCB this is change over contact and if you want to see where this contact is connected you can always go to sheet 21.3 and this is the contact of F201 luckily F201 is available here so you can see here this is L1 plus plus means the positive supply of the DC system of the loop and this is a negative supply so it is terminating to 30.2 so 30.2 is this sheet and it is coming from 20.3 so 20.3 just go to 20.3 and I have seen now this is sheet number 20.3 and this is the supply coming so this is very basic information I have given you 
all the drawing is uh, shown like this uh, sheet number 30 30 is first sheet number and one is the column number sometimes they are also showing the row number in the drawings so this is how addressing is done and references are shown okay in another example is uh, this loop is further continued at page 31 column 1 so this is the loop l1 plus and uh, and this is going this is arrow sign and this number is showing that this loop is further continued to sheet number 31 column number 1 okay now we will go to a drawing and further I will explain you in the drawing I will we will discuss some cross references okay uh, now I have opened a drawing for you and you will try to see the cross references okay this is the AC supply phase and usual and this is uh, coming from external source as I have explained before this dash and the single line dash and single line is showing that this is not the part of the panel that we are reviewing it is an external source so here you can see at external source no information no panel number is mentioned so you can see here the external references are missing in the drawing okay so once it is terminated uh, uh, from external one it's entering in the panel it is terminated to x17 this is the terminal block number x17 terminal number one and four this is phase this is neutral 230 volt AC and then further it's going to MCB F101 which we will be calling as an AC MCB and it's again coming to the odd number as we have discussed and as an incoming supply and outgoing is connected to an even numbers then from MCB it is coming to a switch which is just like a button it is a basically a door switch in the panel and door is open the light will be on this is the light and when door is closed light will be off so it means that this switch normal position of this switch is when door is open so by this way you can learn yourself what are the normal positions of different equipment shown in the drawing I have explained you the normally open and normally closed positions of different components and here how you can learn yourself this is the normal position so normally what happen when we are doing the maintenance we are opening the uh, uh, panel door and we need light so this is how it's working you can see here F101 which is this MCB auxiliary contact is wired up or used at 40.7 so what I will do I like to see where they have connected the auxiliary contact of MCB so here MCB is shown in off position which is normal position for MCB door is in open position and it means that MCB is stripped so if MCB is stripped it should give some alarm means the scheme will be like this that if this MCB is off tripped by a fault or if somebody has forget to switch it on this contact will operate 11 and 12 and then alarm indication will be given to an annunciator panel or some automation panel or computer screen so let's go to sheet number 40.7 so you can find sheet number on the right bottom so we will go to 40.7 
seven this is forty point seven so here is this MCB auxiliary contact and if you see the naming here it is relay panel AC supply MCB prepped so this is the MCB one is for lighting one is for heating and they have fired up the contact normally close contact again normally close contact of MCB normal position of MCB you should know it is open position so it means it has stripped so then it should give supply supply will come from this annunciator panel this is the annunciator panel CP bay number E01 CP for control panel 30 is the panel number so supply is coming from the panel which is obviously a DC supply when AC is failed the annunciation normally done by DC and when DC is failed the annunciation is done by AC so there are two type of annunciator in the substation which are operated by AC supply and some annunciator operated by DC supply so you can see this dash and the full line which are called a reference lines showing that this component is not part of the panel we are reviewing this is the another panel external panel external wiring so the, you can see here cross reference is mentioned uh, the common supply is coming from x1930 from the panel CP30 and it is coming to pan our panel and the panel is RP30 relay panel number 3 terminal number X11 9 and from here this common supply will be connected to F10112 F10312 these are both AC MCBs if any one of the MCB trips then this contact will be made and the DC will be through if both are on this contact will be at 11 and 12 if both MCBs are on 11 and 14 position of contact will be from 11 to 14 and from 11 to 14 because it's a normal close contact and when MCB is in off position then it will be at 11 and 12 and supply is available here when MCB trips the contact position change of contact will move from 14 to 12 and then DC supply will further flow downside and it will back to its give, give the indication to the control panel that now MCB AC MCB is stripped voltage will appear X941 and then from there the voltage will be connected to some window some lamp on the control panel that will glow and it will show that AC supply of the AC panel is failed so going through this example your assignment is you can go through this drawing if you can understand or cannot understand a component or scheme don't worry just go through it and improve your uh, skills of understanding uh, from uh, from page to page so first of all I will recommend that you should trace all the DC loop of the drawing AC loop DC loop and might be the CT circuit VT circuit so this will be your first assignment go through it and don't worry even if you miss uh, or don't understand it obviously it will take time to develop the uh, mind understanding so we will I will uh, once we finish uh, each component of the component understanding and each uh, piece by piece the drawing after that I will go through the complete drawing and uh, if you are following with me you will be able to understand fast and easy okay thank you